This CES coverage was brought to you by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you the most cash for your iPhone. It's easy, fast and secure. David, how are you? My name is Ed. This is Jason Alex. This is our Teclarium crew. We come from Washington, D.C. And we would like to ask you a couple of questions, really just give us a brief overview of what this, what this is and how it works and what drives the process behind the screen and maybe tell us a little bit about what it could potentially bring to the consumer. Great. I'd be happy to. So we're introducing today the world's first uh, smartphone with a fingerprint in the lit area of the display. It's a... It's an optical fingerprint sensor it's called Clear ID from Synaptics, and it's mounted under the OLED panel in this Vivo branded smartphone. So um, the reason people wanted to have fingerprint inside the display was because of the infinity displays that are becoming very common. And the, where do you put the fingerprint? So the bezels are getting too small to, to hold the fingerprint. So moving it up into the display made, made perfect sense. So the, it, it took Synaptics almost three years to develop this technology in-house. And working with Vivo it took almost nearly another year. So well, a year total. So the, um, this is, uh, the Vivo phone is, um, ready to demonstrate here and you just touch it and it goes. It's very fast, very convenient, and it's very secure. The, it's, it's comparable to, uh, this performance is comparable to uh, capacitive technology, which is what you would find on every smartphone today until now. So this, this, this solution is optical, so it, there's a CMOS sensor underneath the panel that actually takes a picture of your finger. So. Um, the OLED panel is what lights your fingerprint, and OLED is required with this technology. As you see, I can, it's a standard Android platform, and the registration process is simple. It's Android standard. You, you get your fingerprint authorized on the phone, and uh, Synaptics has built-in sentry point technology, which includes anti-spoofing technology, uh, secure link which keeps the encryption template um, encrypted, and, as far, and also it uses our matcher system. So um, between the security technology that's provided by Synaptic, it's also our optical hardware. David, just out of curiosity, can you actually change the theme and the color of the layout when you have the screen turned off and the color of that fingerprint icon? So, the, it looks like it's changing colors. <laughs> this is Android, and it, and it um, yeah, you can customize Android however you like. But what we'll, what we expect OEMs to do is to differentiate the fingerprint icon itself, or maybe it's not even a fingerprint icon. You could have a maybe a NFL football helmet or your child's face. It could be anything really. It's just an image that's sitting there, and OEMs will want to differentiate. Now the placement of the fingerprint sensor is is uh, at the bottom in a convenient place, normally where you would find the button of your own uh, previous smartphone. So it's, um, but you could mount the sensor anywhere in the display in a fixed position, but at the, um, we, we our uh, user experience team makes recommendations on where to place it and, and this is a this is a study show that this is a great spot right here. Thank you, David. And one more question for you. Do we know when this is coming to the markets and when, when, is the, when are the OEMs going to start implementing this as part of their process of cell phone manufacturing? So the Vivo phone itself, uh, Vivo is expected to um, make their announcement sometime in early 2018. The, and, but the Synaptics fingerprint sensor is in full production today and sampling with multiple tier one OEMs around the world. Do you know what the cost is going to be? Of the smartphones themselves? Um, 
Since this is a new technology and it's, uh, it will, it will um, be adopted mostly by flagship phones at first, so and there's a variety of price points for flagship smartphones. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you so much, David. Thank you for your time. Thank you.